Formula One cars streak down the track at breakneck speeds. The roar of its engine harmonizes with the deafening cheer of fans. But beneath the glitz and high-speed glory lies a meticulously engineered masterpiece, a driver's helmet, designed to protect their heads while driving at over 200 miles per hour. From sleek aerodynamic shapes to iconic sponsor-laden designs, helmets are more than just gear. They're symbols of safety, innovation, and style. Have you ever wondered what goes into creating them? How do they balance cutting-edge safety features with the bold aesthetics that define the world of F1? And what sets them apart from helmets in any other sport? Today, we are uncovering the secrets of Formula One helmets, their groundbreaking materials, rigorous manufacturing process, and the artistry behind every detail. Get ready to explore why these helmets are not just equipment, but a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. Let's dive in. At over 200 miles per hour, a Formula One driver's helmet is more than protective gear. They're engineering marvels designed to shield drivers from extreme forces while optimizing aerodynamics and looking stylish while doing it. F1 helmets are built to handle impacts at speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, meeting strict FIA standards. They feature lightweight carbon fiber composites to absorb force without adding strain. In crashes, the helmets protect drivers from severe head injuries, flying debris, and even extreme heat, with fireproof materials resisting temperatures over 800 degrees Celsius, or 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit, for 45 seconds. The visor, made from durable polycarbonate, can withstand debris traveling at 250 kilometers per hour without shattering. At these speeds, the helmets are aerodynamically shaped to minimize drag and wobbling, allowing drivers to maintain focus. Custom ventilation systems keep drivers cool and comfortable, even under intense conditions. Each helmet is tailored to fit the car's cockpit and is tested in wind tunnels to ensure seamless integration with the car's airflow. What sets F1 helmets apart from those in other sports or vehicles is their uncompromising performance. Unlike motorcycle helmets designed for single-impact crashes, F1 helmets are engineered to endure multiple collisions while maintaining integrity. They're also far more heat-resistant and finely tuned for aerodynamic precision. The outer shell of an F1 helmet is crafted from multi-layered carbon fire composites. This material is both incredibly strong and lightweight, enabling it to absorb the immense forces experienced during high-speed crashes without compromising the driver's mobility. Beneath the shell, impact-absorbing foam and fire-resistant linings provide additional layers of protection. These inner materials can withstand temperatures exceeding 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 45 seconds giving drivers precious time to escape in the event of a fire. Ventilation and airflow systems further enhance the helmet's functionality. These features ensure drivers stay cool and comfortable, even during the intense heat and physical demands of a race. The effectiveness of F1 helmets has been demonstrated in some of the sport's most dramatic incidents. In 2020, Romain Grosjean's car split in half and burst into flames after a high-speed collision. His helmet's fire-resistant and impact-absorbing properties allowed him to escape the inferno with minimal injuries. Three, and you see Grosjean, uh, one car out there, and then Grosjean to the right-hand side. Across Daniel Kvyat there, as you can see. That's extraordinary. Yeah. It's just the car. It's gone through the barrier, you see. The car's gone through the barrier. It's That's Roman Grosjean. Unbelievable. Um, uh, he... Roman went with the front of the chassis underneath the barriers. Yeah. Extraordinary. Well, the halo saved his life. Similarly, Zhou Guan Yu's terrifying crash in 2022, where his car flipped and slid into a barricade, highlighted the helmet's ability to protect against fatal head trauma. Zhou Guan Yu starting in ninth place, the uh, red and white Alfa Romeo. Nicholas Latifi gets in between him and George Russell. Gasly backs out, there's the initial content, that's where the car then is upside down onto the gravel and then it flips, Martin, upside down as you can see, and the roll hoop and the halo very much doing its job before the car digs in and you do not ever want to see accidents like that. Yeah, I think George was pulling to the left into the Alfa Tauri, that's tripped the Alfa Romeo completely over. Luckily it lost a little bit of speed. 
The process begins with selecting high-quality materials for both strength and protection. Carbon fiber and fiberglass sheets are chosen for their durability and lightweight properties. These sheets are carefully shaped into the helmet shell using heated molds, which ensure they fit perfectly to the desired dimensions. Next, the foam inserts are created using expandable polystyrene beads. These beads are heated and expanded, similar to the process of popping popcorn. The foam's density can be varied based on the part of the helmet being molded. Softer foam is used in areas like the top, while harder foam is used in areas like the back or mouth guard. These foam inserts provide critical shock absorption in case of impact. After the initial molding, the helmet shell moves to the trimming stage, where any excess carbon fiber is cut away. This includes trimming the edges around the eye port where the visor will go and the bottom of the shell. The helmet then undergoes sanding to smooth rough edges and ensure the surface is free of any sharp carbon fiber strands that could harm the driver. The helmet is then coated with a clear primer to prepare it for the next stages of customization and painting. This primer provides a smooth and even surface, ensuring the paint adheres well to the shell. Now comes the most visible and personalized part of the process, painting and customization. Vibrant layers of paint are applied to the helmet's exterior to create sleek and striking designs. Custom vinyl stickers are added, including driver-specific motifs, sponsor logos, and any additional graphics. This is where the helmet truly reflects the identity of the driver. For example, Lewis Hamilton's helmet features unique color patterns and designs that stand out on the track, while sponsor logos are carefully integrated into the design to maintain the helmet's aesthetic appeal while showcasing sponsors. Once the helmet's external components are finalized, the assembly process begins. Chin straps made from fire-resistant fabric and Kevlar are sewn together for secure fastening, while soft foam inserts are added inside the helmet to enhance comfort. These foam pieces are then covered with fireproof fabric for added safety. In modern F1 helmets, electronic components are also integrated. This includes the installation of radio communication systems that allow drivers to stay in touch with their teams during races. Additionally, driver's eye cameras are installed which capture the driver's point of view, so fans can see what the drivers see on the track. These helmets are built to withstand some of the most extreme conditions imaginable, ensuring the safety of drivers, even in catastrophic scenarios. To meet the FIA's rigorous standards, each helmet must pass a series of grueling tests before it can be used on the track. The first test involves dropping a 5kg steel anvil onto the helmet from a height of 3.3 meters. While the outer shell may dent under the impact, the inner foam layer and steel casing are designed to remain completely intact, ensuring the driver's head is fully protected. Next, the helmet faces a barrage of lead pellets fired at speeds of up to 300 km per hour. This test simulates high-speed debris collisions, and the helmet must show no signs of penetration. The visor, a crucial component of driver visibility and safety, undergoes its own stringent checks. Made from 3mm thick polycarbonate, it's loaded with weights to ensure it won't break or detach during a crash. If that wasn't challenging enough, the helmet is subjected to a direct flame at 790 degrees Celsius. Not only must it endure the intense heat, but it also needs to self-extinguish as soon as the flame is removed. This fire resistance test ensures that drivers have vital seconds to escape in case of an accident involving fire. Formula One is a sport heavily reliant on sponsorship, and helmets are one of the most visible places for brands to make their mark. As a result, drivers often sport logos and designs that represent their sponsors or team affiliations. These sponsor logos are carefully incorporated into the helmet's paintwork, often as a significant part of the overall design. Drivers like Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo incorporate sponsor logos such as Monster Energy and Tommy Hilfiger into their designs. Helmet designs have evolved from simple patterns to intricate personal expressions. The iconic helmet of Ayrton Senna with its yellow base and green-blue pattern became synonymous with his identity and Brazilian heritage. Drivers today, like Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc, continue this tradition, using their helmets to represent personal milestones or pay tribute to their heritage. Helmets also allow drivers to showcase individuality and honor their roots. Max Verstappen opts for bold, simple designs reflecting his straightforward persona, while Fernando Alonso incorporates Spanish elements. Additionally, many drivers, such as Charles Leclerc, use their helmets to honor family members, like his late father, creating emotional tributes through design. Modern Formula One helmets prioritize lightweight strengths and aerodynamics. Built primarily from carbon fiber, recent innovations like titanium mesh and Kevlar layers provide added reinforcement without extra weight. Streamlined designs and optimized visors reduce drag, enhance airflow, and stabilize the driver's head at speeds over 200 miles per hour, improving comfort and reducing neck strain. The integration of advanced electronics has brought about significant safety and performance benefits. 
Many modern helmets now feature biometric sensors embedded in the inner lining to monitor the driver's physical condition in real time. These sensors track metrics such as heart rate, temperature, and impact forces, allowing teams to monitor driver health and respond to potential injuries during the race. Perhaps one of the most exciting prospects for the future is 3D printing. This technology allows for highly customized helmet designs, tailoring the fit and structure to a driver's specific needs. 3D printing can also improve the manufacturing process, enabling faster prototyping and the use of complex geometric structures that would be difficult or impossible to create with traditional methods. This technology could revolutionize helmet manufacturing by providing a more precise, lightweight and efficient production process. Formula One helmets are more than just protective gear. They're engineering marvels that seamlessly blend safety, style, and cutting-edge technology. With advancements in materials, aerodynamics, and electronics, these helmets play a crucial role in driver performance and safety. What's your favorite Formula One helmet design? Is it a tribute to heritage, a bold statement of individuality, or one of the iconic classics? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to subscribe for more behind-the-scenes tech content and insights into the incredible engineering shaping the world of Formula One.